film was produced by Fern Levitt, a Hamilton girl. She was in school with me many, many years ago. And she went on a on a sled dog venture, just, you know, totally... Uh, uh, naive about how the the business was run and she decided she was going to do a film on the dogs yeah. and when she started looking into it she re she was invited onto six yeah. sled dog uh, industries yeah yeah my nose is running oh <laughs> <laughs> hang on I got a Kleedex here <laughs> It's a little cold this morning. Yeah, it's very cold out here. <laughs> and uh, she um, she was invited on the uh, on the premises, and these people were proud of the way they looked after these dogs, and uh, they're chained 24/7 for the majority of their lives, unless they're training to pull sleds or actually making money for the owners pulling the sleds. They have a six-foot chain. They have a, usually a plastic barrel that they sleep in. They urinate, defecate, eat, sleep, and their whole life is within this radius. And she was shocked. She was invited on, and they're they're proud of the of what they were doing, and she produced this film. It took two years, and it's an amazing expose yes. of what goes on because people think, like, even me being involved in animal yeah. rights as long as I had been, I didn't know that that's how they lived. How would I know, really, Same. until somebody goes in and exposes yes. it? So that night, some mushers were there, and they were yelling out and challenging the veracity of of, and, and she said. You guys invited us there. We only recorded what you allowed us to yeah. see. Yeah. A dog frozen in the snow. And there's this lady going, oh, oh, poor Misty, you yeah. know. We must have lost him overnight. Yes, what happened? How could this happen, you know? Completely cold. A hundred, like, yeah. This is a normal thing. Right? Yes. This is a normal thing in the industry. Yeah. Oh, whoops, we yeah. lost it overnight. Yeah, puppies wandering around. So anyway, um, we decided to do an action and go to her place as a matter Matter of fact, there must have been Recently, about right? yeah. It was just a month ago. I heard about it. That's why I was like, okay, yeah, more on this. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a red team and a green team, and the green team stayed outside and dealt with the press and um, the police and and getting the red team there. I was on team red, and yes. uh, we went to the back of the property and we had to go through. It was a uh, it was frozen. It was really really cold that day, but there was un. Uh, uh, thawed marsh underneath so my feet were pretty much soaked by the time we got to the dogs 110 dogs chained outside they have no interaction with each other their chains are short and uh, the barking and the I mean it was they were all lovely dogs surprisingly too they're not all husky breeds I would say maybe a quarter of them have those husky coats and the husky breeds most of them were like average dogs you'd see at a pound yeah. And they're all starving for attention. And they had these blue plastic barrels with a little bit of straw on the bottom, but I didn't see any insulation in any of these, even the wooden boxes. And they had a can that was um, nailed to the outside. I guess that's for their water. I didn't see any water. They must get water from time to time. Um, yeah, they couldn't. They didn't even have any snow because this radius, you see, was all pounded down with their own urine and feces and, and running around. And um, so there were 110 of them. We, we fanned out and took uh, video footage of it. And by this time, the people came out. One of the mushers came out and uh, attacked Jenny McQueen. Okay. And she wow. had a chain around her neck and was, and Jenny was going red and then purple. And I was filming it with my camera, but I couldn't see Jenny's face on my camera until somebody said, we've got to help her. And I put the camera down and I went behind uh, this woman just to sort of distract her. And Jenny told me afterwards, she said, I'm glad you did that because I could feel the chain loosen. And uh, so she was okay, but um, she was, I mean, I don't know what would have happened to her if, if I...